Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I am creating a voiceover for this because it was way too long and I couldn't figure out how to chop it up. So uh, I am essentially just playing it all back to you at 300 times speed and um, there we go. So I've taken a couple of different methods of budgeting that I really enjoy. Um, the first one is from the Budget Mom with her highlighter method. I cannot express how much I love it so much. And I definitely want to incorporate more of her method when I budget, but because I'm kind of starting in the middle of the month and I have a very irregular income style right now, um, I, I can't do it to the degree that I would like. So. Um, I'm still going to include what I currently make with my income. I work retail, it is part time, and it really isn't that much. I will include it later on in the video at the top under the income section. But I bring in uh, just barely $600 a month, maybe a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but that's just where it is right now. The other method that I really love is the avalanche method where you pay off the highest interest rate first. So some cards you'll see I uh, want to pay off first and then I'm going to use the Dave Ramsey method where he recommends using the snowball method of paying the smallest balances off first. And the other videos that I really love um, with regards to budgeting right now on YouTube are from Romina Vasquez at Home with Tori Simply Cami and Financially Healthy. Their videos are just really inspiring for me and uh, make me feel as if I can do this. And yes, it's going to be really hard and it's going to be very frustrating and it's okay if I don't get it right the first time, but I'm going to get through it. So what I've done here is I have listed out all of my credit cards with initials. So it's everything's just C1 through C5. I do plan on going back to school in the fall, so I'm going to just list that as school. And then I also have my car as my current debt. So my highest balance credit card is just over $9,300. I'm not putting any more payments towards that card, so hopefully it will go down in time. My second highest is done through two balance transfers that I did, and that's $6,146. 81 cents. There's a zero interest rate on that one for my APR because of the balance transfer. It will go up in July to just over 19%. So uh, hopefully I can get as much paid as possible so I'm not paying interest on $6,100. My second card, the third card to pay off is just under $400 and I do have my cell phone bill attached to that card. My goal is to start paying my cell phone bill in cash through my debit account, but I know that that's going to take some time. My fourth card is just over $150, or just under $160, I guess. And my fifth card also has a zero interest rate. It's just under $300, and the interest rate will go up in January, so I'm working on paying that card off first. My school debt for this semester is going to be just about $1,300. Um, books, it looks like, are going to cost me about $40, which isn't so bad. I'm going to be renting them, and I'm going to put my school debt, which is terrible, on a credit card because I don't qualify for a collegiate loan. I don't qualify for Stafford loans, and it's because I'm going in as a non-degree-seeking student, um, I don't make enough money to have a loan without a co-signer, which is why I can't get the collegiate loan. And I can't get another school loan because um, I'm not degree seeking at this time because I'm going in as a post baccalaureate or, or non-degree seeking student until I can get accepted into the program. My car debt is just over $15,000. Um, I do have a car warranty on it, so I'm going to see if I can get that removed to bring my car loan down, my car payment down. Um, but right now it's just under $300 for that payment. My fixed payments right now are my 
car insurance and my cell phone. My car insurance, um, I pay every month, but it's based on a six month total. And my cell phone, my phone itself is paid off, but I still have my cell phone bill. So that's just over $75. And then I also have here my variable and my sinking funds. Uh, my variable expenses are going to include things like my gas, the food expenses, and um, any miscellaneous things like toiletries and what have you, toilet paper for the house, whatever. Um, and my sinking funds are going to include my car maintenance and my vehicle registration, my vehicle oil changes and vehicle inspections. I live in the state of North Carolina and we do have every year vehicle inspections and vehicle registrations and that adds up to a lot of money. So um, once I've added everything up plus everything I need to get done to the car, like my, uh, I need to replace the tires shortly and that was $400 last time I re replaced it. I need to get a new timing belt and my when they did my vehicle inspection, they said that my battery might die soon. So that's not very exciting, and that'll be another $150. So after I added everything up and then divided it by 12, it came out to, where is it, my, about $96 a month for my car maintenance. And then I have another fund that I've listed at $1,500 a month, and that's for um, entertainment. Um, essentially, I do have a subscription, one subscription service, and I've had it for many years now, um, and it's twelve ninety nine a month for a um, video game, computer game that I play online, and I don't go to the movies very often, um, maybe once a year. Yeah, I don't really get my nails done. I don't go places, <laughs> really, so this is my, like, big spending right here, the $15 a month, and I pay that fee, that subscription every six months. So I've already paid it at the beginning of the month of July, and that'll be good up through January when I make the next payment for that. Um, the calculator that I'm using is just one I found at the dollar store in the back to school section because I realized my house did not have a calculator since we use our cell phones for everything, which is great. Um, but when it came to trying to film and add at the same time, I couldn't do it because <laughs> I'm filming off my cell phone. Um, I don't have a vlogging camera, uh, so I'm using my cell phone and I've kind of jerry-rigged it off of a lampshade, so if it's kind of wobbly, that's why. Um, the total expenses for school without books is going to be just over $4,500. So I know that that's something that I do have to look into and decide if it's worth it or not. I think it is. Um, but financially, I just, I, I don't know what to do. Because um, it is going to be something else to pay for. Um, I also have life insurance. And when watching the Budget Mom videos, she makes the point of saying like, you know, there are things sometimes you can't afford. And I really thought financially I was going to be in a better position at this age. Um, I'm in my mid thirties right now and I am not in a great financial spot. I don't have kids, which is very helpful in terms of budgeting and finances, but it is something that I want in the future. And I think once I'm ready to have children, um, instead of having the life insurance policy that I currently have, I'll probably go more towards like term life because then I can, it'll still be affordable without being um, unattainable, which is the kind I have right now. Um, at the end of the video is when I am doing my uh, cash counting. Uh, because I filmed everything and then realized I forgot to film the cash portion. So uh, you'll see that part at the end of everything that I currently carry in my wallet. Um, the money total in my wallet, including my coins, is $133.45. And 
This is money that I used from um, June when I took out $200 and I've, I was also given some birthday money. It was my birthday this month. Um, I was given some, some cash that I also just kind of threw into the $200 that I started using. And that was from like mid-June-ish to now. Um, my goal is to fill my car with $15 every time I need to go fill it up and just see uh, how far I get on $15. Um, and then my food at this time, I put 30. Um, I have already spent some money for food, put some money back into food because I wanted to have money for my party. And um, I didn't wind up using as much as I thought I would. And uh, the coins also come from a coin jar that I have that I've just had this jar of coins for years and years and years now. And now that I'm desperate, not desperate, but I'm a little broke, um, I'm taking, I'm dipping into that coin jar essentially and uh, just grabbing a handful here and there as needed. And I throw it into my wallet and then uh, if I see I'm low on pennies, I'll grab some pennies. If I see I'm low on nickels, I'll grab some nickels so that when I go paying cash, I have exact cash to give the uh, cashier. Um, I do have some of my cash receipts. I don't have all of my cash receipts. And uh, what I'd like to do for August is really make a bigger effort of saving all of my cash receipts so that I can at the end of the month or probably the end of the week do a check-in with you and or myself in the beginning I don't think anyone's going to be watching this right now but uh, doing check-ins and seeing okay how much did I spend in cash this week how much do I have for the following week and if I got paid from my job or if I didn't get paid, how much is that? I don't think I've talked about what I do yet. Um, I quit my job last year and I lived on savings for most of it and credit cards, as you can see, for when I ran out of my cash savings. And um, I, I found a job in retail it is part-time, so I don't make that much money. So if, as you can see, the two incomes that I have, the 385 and the 226, that's from my retail job. And the other is from cash back expenses and money um, from my HSA for the doctor. Um, so I do have uh, some more money in my HSA account and in like a medical savings account. Um, that I have, but that's just for medical expenses. So uh, what I'd like to do is still pay off those expenses as much as I would love to pour it into my C5 card. Um, the 160 is going to go straight into my C4 card. And um, I do have a little bit extra, so those extra probably, probably like $2 and what is that? 70 cents. Um, that's gonna, um, cause that, that's part of the cash back portion as well. Um, that'll probably just get placed into my savings account or I'll just leave it in my bill pay account and, um, just have it there so that I, I don't accidentally hit zero in my bank account or maybe pour, pour that into my C5 account. Um, so this is the inside of my wallet. Um, if you have any tips or ideas or tricks that I can do to help pay my balances off, please leave it in the comment section down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you have any advice as to second jobs I can have, um, anything additional I can do. I do plan on um, driving for Lyft. I was driving for Lyft last year, and um, it is something that I intend to do again this year. Um, until I can, or even during, <laughs> while I get another job. Uh, but thanks for 
watching my video, please like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content. And uh, let me know also in the comment section down below if you've also just started your debt payoff journey and at what point you are in, in your steps right now or um, how your, your journey's gone. I'd love to hear it and um, it would be nice to talk to someone else that is also working on their finances as well. Have a great day.